Here's where we left off on the sizzling modeling so far, this barbecue type thing. And I think the first thing I'm going to do is come in here and box select all of that. Let's pull it up a little bit. Give myself a bit more room. Might even do a little bit more than that. Okay. I'll start with that. And now I'm going to create some of these dials here. Let's select this and bring the 3D cursor there. Uh, let's try this. Let's go for, um, let's just leave that at 32. That's the scale. And make a couple of these guys here. So let's see. Let's go ahead and extrude up. And I have to make a face. Press 3 for face selection. And let's bevel this. I'll put a couple in there. And let's shade smooth that. That's going to be okay just like that. So we'll do something on the bottom here. I'll shift Alt and click there. E and S. I'll come in. I'll come down a bit just so it looks a bit like a knob. And I'll, I'll bevel that as well. One there. I think it needs to be a little smaller than that. So let's just scale like that. Shift D. Let's just pull that out. Just globally scale it. And let's actually scale that in the Z a bit. still selected so it's just shift D and G I'll pull it over here and we'll just flatten it out a bit put it in we scale a bit like that actually maybe it will make them this slightly different sizes so let's go back in here select a bit in control L to select length I'll make this one a little bit smaller so all three of them are slightly different size and shape okay now we're gonna create the mustard and ketchup bottles and to do that I think I'm gonna borrow this circle here so select that and shift D it out in P, separate by selection. And it's kind of a similar size, it's pretty small. So let's just bring that down here. Okay, extrude this up to about there. All right, where it starts to. Okay. Extrude again, scale it in. Okay. And then uh, let's see. If I want to just scale it out right at that point. How wide does it come? It's pretty sharp there. Let's do that at least. And scale that in. And then we'll come up like that. I'm going to delete that. Okay, let's have a look at this thing here. Let's grab this and bevel. 
I'm gonna do that on the bottom as well. Maybe we'll put the bottom face, I'm not sure. And we're gonna do that here and here. Let's try we need normal. It's actually even coming here. this and then maybe grab that and bridge those and maybe take these and uh, let's scale shift Z let's make it a little bit thicker let's grab everything alt n calculate outside and what I got going on here drag an edge dip up here like that that's cool and we'll just bevel this top here a little bit okay I don't need to get rid of a bottom face really I think I need to make this, it is about the, the diameter of that, I'll make it a little taller, I'm pulling that like that, there we go, okay, and there's our little mustard, set the origin of geometry, and I'm going to duplicate it over here, pull it out this way a bit, and we're gonna make the ketchup. Let's make it a bit wider. And we delete part of it. Let's delete all those vertices. And see what we need to do. So we need to come up. Let's come back a little ways and delete all those. And we'll come up to about there. And then we'll come in. here here and maybe on this one we'll do solidify let's just put that up there make it thick like that I'll go ahead and apply that and then we'll come in here bevel these edges here hmm, pretty thick how's that is that what I want I might want it a little narrower than that well it looks like a pretty big big hole there too maybe a little bit less abrupt of a bevel, maybe it's like a bit bigger, like that. Okay, pretty easy. Let's have a look 
at uh, if anything's flipped. Okay, my knobs are. And come back to here. Let's turn that off for a moment. And have a look at this with shadow. Okay. All right. Let's keep going then. Turn that back off. And just bring in a plane. And move it over to here. And create a spatula of sorts. Okay, so what we need to do, we're going to come out to a little bit thinner and we're going to widen out. Something like that. Scale that on the X. So how wide is this thing? It's a bit narrower than that. Let's go with something like that. Okay, let's just focus on that with the slash key select that edge and look from the side I press one actually E and G will come up for the handle like that and then we'll just come back okay so we've got this and then it's going to narrow so let's take both all of those actually and scale those in the X Narrow like that. I think maybe I'll scale those in the X just a little bit. And the very end looks like it actually expands a little bit. You know, something like that. Okay, let's take that and let's E and Alt S and push. Maybe a little bit of thick. Like that. Okay. And then in edge selection, the shift alt and click. Oh, both of those. Oh, bevel. Get some roundness there. And then I'll select that edge and that edge. Maybe these back ones. And control B. Let's do that. Might as well go all the way around it now. I'm, I'm using a lot of edges for my beveling. I'm not making this for a game. Get all the edges there. thing let's come in here now and select this top uh, to make this I'm gonna shift D and I think I'll break it out and then it's gonna extrude it up like that and uh, I will go ahead and select the top and the bottom and I'll bevel these actually before I do that I think I'm going to bevel this and then we'll check the size of this let's do that okay now I can select the top and the bottom and I'll go ahead and I'll bevel that and then we'll see what we need to do with this piece what it's like okay so oh, I don't really know but Maybe it'll be a bit bigger. Um, okay. And maybe grab a heat. Actually, just grab here. And pull it down a bit. Let's just try that. Let's. Uh, no, we'll make it a bit thinner than that. Globally. Let's take this and shift D, rotate Y 180, pull it under here, yeah, 
All right, well, now what do we need to do here? We need normal and auto smooth. Okay, and then let's come in here. Let's select that to bring the 3D cursor there. And I'll bring in another circle. I guess I'm gonna use 32. I'm gonna press F to make a face and extrude down a bit. And then just take this and bubble the heck out of it. Just to make like a screw type thing. And I'll put one down there. And I gotta put another one up here. Select Control L. I just want to make sure that it, yeah, that one's not in. Like that, that's okay. And I think what I'll do is I'm going to select all of this stuff and I'll put that in a collection. I have to come back to here and I'm going to go. M new collection spatula. Let's set the origin of geometry on that. Let's save. And I think it looks roughly like the right size. So uh, let's uh, bring it over here. Let's rotate this in the Z and position this uh, a little bit like the diagram, anyhow. So just going off the edge there. And it's like a bit of a rotation of some sort. Something like that anyhow. There we go. Is it too small? Probably make that thicker, but I don't want to. Yeah, that's all right. I'm okay with that. Something like that. And that's what we come up with so far. Cute little easy scene to do. And of course now we're going to do the hamburger. And then we'll uh, check and make sure I didn't miss anything. So I got the fiend on there. And we'll do some, some texturing. So thanks for watching.